I often need to look through a Jupyter notebook, but I don't have a Jupyter server running. Today we're looking at a package called Jupe that's got us covered. We can look at that notebook from our terminal. All right, so to get Jute, we first off uh, need to pip install it. It's available from PyPI, so we can do a pip install uh, Jute. Now that we've got it installed, let's take a look at an example. Uh, we can run Jute, and notice uh, we don't even have to have the notebook locally. It can pull notebooks from a URL for us. Go ahead and hit Jute on the URL, and here it is. Um, we can kind of scroll up. Uh, this is built with Rich, so you can see that nice uh, Rich style here. It's got the nice headers, uh, formatted code, um, nice markdown cells here. Some options we get with Jute here. Uh, we can look at the dash dash head five, and it will print out the first five cells. Um, maybe since we're zoomed in here, it'll be a little bit more obvious if we just give it uh, two. Um, we can also give it a tail. Get me up out of the way. For some reason it wouldn't let me hit it there. Okay, so we can look at the tail too. Um, and it gives us both the input and output of those cells. Um, if you want to check out what other options Jute has, you can hit Jute dash dash help. Uh, see here, we can give it a start and end. So if you want to give it, you want to look at the middle of a notebook, you can hit uh, dash S, uh, start cell dash E, end cell. Um, you can exclude the borders and you can exclude output cells. Um, another thing that is super cool with Jute is you can run it with pipx. So let's uh, give this a clear, and we can pip x run jute. Here, we'll go back to our last command, and we can just simply pip x run, and it'll run it. So that means I don't have to clutter up my virtual environment with another package. Maybe it has some dependencies that could potentially clash and wreck my environment, and I don't have to manage a separate environment for it. Uh, PipX is going to handle that for me and sandbox that jute command in its own virtual environment simply by running PipX run. It's that easy. So the one thing I notice is missing from jute is the image support. Um, I can't see the images here in my terminal, but maybe the next best thing I can do is use another package uh, called nbconvert. Um, that one we can't use with pipx, so we'll pip install nbconvert. Now that that's installed, uh, it is behind the, the Jupyter command. It does not have its own CLI, so we'll Jupyter nbconvert. So since uh, the nbconvert command does not uh, get this URL for us. We have to fetch it. So I'm just going to hit it with a wget. Uh, get rid of this. Okay, and now we have that uh, flame temperature.ipy and b. So we can hit it with the uh, Jupyter nbconvert. Give it the name of the notebook we want to convert, ipy and b, and dash dash two. And this can be another number of things. It can be uh, HTML, Markdown, uh, LaTeX, a PDF. Uh, today we're going to take a look at going to uh, HTML. And then once we do that, we can hit it with a Python dash M HTTP dot server. And then we're serving on localhost 8000. Look up that localhost 8000 and we'll look at the flame temperature.html. And we can see that plot here without even running a Jupyter server. Another couple cool things uh, we can do once if we're going through the effort of running and be convert. Uh, we can convert it to markdown. And if we want to stay in the terminal.
Markdown. Okay, it did write it, so it wrote it to Markdown. Um, we can do a simple uh, bin cat the uh, flame temperature dot md, and here's what it would look like just catting it out. Uh, we're going to see that huge image there at the end. Um, so I use a another uh, tool called bat which I have aliased over to my cat. So if I cat this out, I actually get some nice colors, highlighting, things like that. Um, I can search. Um, let's look for temperature. And we can search, uh, kind of scroll through with temperature. Um, we could also hit this with a glow flame. Flame temperature MD glow is another uh, terminal based uh, markdown rendering tool that we can use to look at it. Uh, same, same kind of key bindings, J and K go up and down, hit with the forward slash and we can look for a temp and hit uh, N or shift N to kind of go through those matches. Um, last one, this is maybe a little bit of a stretch. We can look at uh, Look at me, uh, flame temperature dot MD, and this will give us a slideshow of our notebook right in the terminal. Um, this one in particular is probably a little stretched out there, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, that's a couple ways we can look at a Jupyter notebook right from a terminal without even starting up a Jupyter server. I do videos here all the time about doing data science from the terminal. If you stayed here this long, make sure you go ahead and give this one a thumbs up.